Hey, so this video is to show how I installed a, a GTA car kit uh, so I could have uh, could plug in my uh, iPhone or iPod uh, into my 2004 uh, MSN uh, Miata and because it doesn't come, the, this old radio doesn't come with a, an input. So anyway, uh, I pulled the radio out. There's uh, videos on YouTube how to do that. You have to take these little things off right here insert some tools. I used some screw, some very thin screwdrivers, four of them, two here and two here, and then the radio comes out. I also took this plastic off this part so I can have a better grip. And uh, then I pulled the radio out. I plugged in the, uh, the uh, input of the car uh, kit in the back of the radio. And then I had the option of putting it in here or but I really wanted to put it in here on the on the console inside the console. But I could never get this out. I bought a couple of tools to you know I, to to get this thing out, and I just couldn't do it. There's five screws on the center console. Uh, one of them is underneath this, and I just couldn't do it without getting anywhere near scratching this. And I didn't want to do that, so I settled for putting uh, the, the 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 kit. Uh, in here. Now to make it as clean and as organized as possible I put some velcro on the back of the uh, glove compartment and then velcro on the back of the kit and attached it right here so it's nice and attached in place not just loose you know in there and the wire from the back of the radio goes through the back and comes out comes out like underneath here and you can just kind of wire it through here and then it goes right in there and then the uh, the, uh, the wire that goes out I basically feed it right back through there so it doesn't hit anything and you can close and open this no problem and then I wire the bottom here it comes out the wire comes out from the bottom see right here right but instead of leaving the wire loose like this what I did was I you know it just kind of tucks in to the side here you can you can you can tuck it in see right there kind of keeps it neat and in place and then I just have this right over here and then I can't attach my phone to it right now because I'm at using my phone to film this but then the the phone would sit right over there and I could play music and whatever else I want uh, and then when I'm not using it I could just you know put this underneath here like that and it pretty much disappears, you know. See the wire right here. But other, otherwise, it's out of the way. It's nice and clean. No wires hanging. And inside the glove box, it's, you know, also relatively organized. It's not just a bunch of wires in there. And this is nice and steady. So that's what I that's what I did. I just wish I could have gotten it in here, but I couldn't figure out how to get this out safely. But in the end, it looks pretty decent, and um, and it works. So, uh, and, and the uh, car kit, uh, this GTA car kit so far, uh, seems pretty good. I paid, I think, 80 or 90 bucks. It comes from Canada, I think. And, um, you know, shipping was relatively cheap. I think everything came out under 100 bucks. And it comes with this wire, uh, which is for iPhones, iPods. And it also came with a, um, this wire also, which is uh, just a... An auxiliary uh, wire, which I could use also, but when you have it plugged into this, it's not charging your uh, device. When you have it plugged into this, you know you ch you're charging it, so it's uh, a little bit better to use that. So that's it. Hope that helps somebody uh, out there. Enjoy.